Alrighty folks, how is it going? So, just in the middle of stripping my bike down for a cleanup and some overdue maintenance and so on, um, I thought I'd do a how-to on how to install the Power Commander. Which, on my bike, sits just in between the uh, ECU and the relays and fuses and stuff. This is on a 2017 bike. I'm pretty sure it will be the same for the earlier 701s and the earlier 690s. Uh, they both have twin sparks and so on and this will probably go right up to uh, well the 2020s and 2021s um, both the 701 and 690 um, so before you start uh, actually installing the power commander and plugging shit in um, you need to take the uh, front panels off uh, obviously seat and so on uh, radiator sides don't think you need to take the tail plastics off uh, no you don't I've just done it anyway because I'm cleaning the bike um, and get the airbox off now, you can see my other videos I'll put a link in the uh, description and the time where in that video is to uh, on how to remove the airbox uh, but there's screws around here uh, same on the other side you've got to remove the voltage regulator uh, to get at some screws as well and then two screws down here the seat stays and obviously undo the hose clip jubilee clip uh, on the throttle body and that'll get you off <coughs> and it'll take a lot of jiggling and poking and swearing and stuff but it will come out with some shuffling and stuff um so yeah once you've got all that off uh, you're pretty much ready to uh, start installing the power commander um, and this has got one big fat braided cable coming out of it and one small earth cable so that just goes under um, you can remove the ECU and the ECU tray to get the battery if you want to put it straight onto the earth of the battery um, it's, it's probably the best place to put it anyway um, so yeah I slot mine down there now I had to cut the tray underneath the ECU so yeah I had to cut that just a tiny bit uh, you can see where I've ham fisted it. Um, just for that to sit in there, um, yours might sit somewhere else, but yeah, that's where mine goes anyway. Um, my cable routes that way between the fuse box and the relays. Down the side to here. Now, this is where the wires branch off. Uh, so, first off, you've got the injector. This is the injector here. That is the stock loom. So, this orange and grey, orange, black and grey cable. We plugged into there. Um, so one goes on there, one goes on there. Uh, next off, we've got the spark plugs. Now then, this is the twin spark, uh, it's a twin spark plug engine, obviously. Um, and there are uh, two coloured plugs on top. Um, you've got a white one and a black one. And if you have a look on the side, the outside uh, spark plug is the one with the white connector see it says white coupler uh, this white plug will be connected to the outside spark plug uh, so you want the um, the branch that's got the red and blue and the red white and blue uh, cables on that goes onto the outside spark plug and then the green red and uh, white green and so on and that goes on the inside spark plug uh, if you get those wrong, your bike will run like shit. Well, it probably won't run, actually. Um, so, yeah, just be careful that you get those right. Uh, next up, we've got two branches that come down the way. Now, one of the ones that come down is for the throttle position sensor, which is this beast here. That's your throttle body. Uh, which, so this bit is part of the loom, of the original loom. And then you've got this uh, piggyback branch bit. Um, disconnect that from the throttle body and plug those in. Make sure you plug them in with a good click. Make sure all the, the fittings go click as you connect them. Uh, I didn't, the bike didn't start. It took us like a couple of hours to work out why one of these just needed to press in a couple of mil more to go click. And then you've got this. Uh, the white and brown cable now i'm not quite sure what that is um i will put it up on the screen when i figure it out and so on but yeah that's just two pins uh brown white wires 
uh, disconnect them and plug the power commander loom in. And I just hide that down there. You might want to try and poke it in in there. Um, and then on, you should have a dongle uh, that goes in in place of the um, what's it called? The O2 sensor. Uh, the O2 sensor comes from the exhaust here uh, up around the frame and this is it here i need to do a better job of covering that up because it's just got masking tape on and this is the plug itself it's probably easier getting it from the top so that's the dongle uh, if um, if you don't plug this in the um, ecu will constantly take readings from the narrowband sensor and whatever map you've got the ECU will adjust it on the closed loop system, which is the like emissions system, um, and it will constantly run at whatever it's programmed to do. Uh, if you plug that in, it kind of fools the ECU into thinking it's running right, um, and whatever you've whatever map you've got on will work. Uh, but when you've got full throttle, or if you're over a, over a certain RPM, uh, it works on the open loop system. Uh, which then just runs on whatever's in the ECU um, or in your power commander which is why you fit them anyway to get a richer mix more power and timing uh, yeah that's pretty much it um, I said make sure you've got all your connectors in properly make sure they go pop click whatever when you put them together and uh, yeah put the bike back together make sure you get all the connectors and whatnot yeah, that's covered in oil. Uh, all back together. Uh, then before you put all the panels on, just start it up and make sure it starts. Um, uh, when you start it, you will probably have the engine management light or the FI light uh, on the right hand side of your dash. That will come on uh, once you've started the engine. It's just because the ECU isn't used to seeing a, a steady signal from uh, the O2 sensor. So just while the ECU figures that out, uh, it will go out after four or five uh, rides or stop starts, you know, start the engine, let it run for 30 seconds or so uh, and kill it and then start again uh, or just go and ride it, ignore the light. Um, yeah, if it runs like shit, you've either got something wrong or you've put the wrong map in. Uh, make sure you get the right map for uh, your year of bike, the 2017 and up 701 and the 20, 2020. Uh, 690 um, they've got higher RPM um, because they've got the different engine um, so yeah if you give it the beans and it cuts out right at the top end you've probably put the wrong map on um, yeah I think that's about it uh, any questions just fire them in the comments down below and uh, yeah that's about it um, if you like this video hit like uh, share subscribe and remember to tickle that bell end icon for notifications and when I post some more slightly helpful videos. And until next time, cheers.